Guys, I listened when every internet entrepreneur said that you should get ripped, and that's the first step to making money. <laughs> I did, I gained 50 pounds, and I've cut a couple of those pounds off now, uh, cause it was a dirty bulk, I had a little bit of fat on me. But uh, I got ripped, you know, and uh, I made another video that said getting ripped was supposed to change my life. And uh, here's the thing, everybody says that getting ripped will essentially get you in the point where you're able to make money. It'll change your mindset, it'll change your perspective on life, it'll teach you hard work, drive, discipline. I was already like in shape before in my life. Um, I was an athlete in high school, I just kind of fell off and lost all my muscle and stuff. So like, I pretty much already had the principles of working out. And so, a lot of you are probably the same, a lot of you have probably already worked out before. A lot of you have probably been in a sport at some point in your life and already know hard work or already know discipline and in all reality getting in shape does improve your chances of success it does kind of give you another stepping stone to push off of in order to achieve things in the other in the other areas of life but the thing is it's not actually all that necessary you could be doing a million other things with your life you could be going in 100 percent on your business and that would actually help you probably more than going and trying to get in shape. Because getting in shape, I mean, if you're a small guy and you want to eat eight times a day, you know, that's a lot of time put into food. And you want to work out once a day for two hours, that's a lot of time putting into working out. So that's like five or six hours of your day dedicated to like getting in shape. Whereas you could be using that to build your business, build your side hustle, whatever. Take a second job, make a little bit more money. There's so many things you can do with that time that could propel you in a different way. So. Everybody pushes getting in shape as the one way, you know, the one first step, the, the gateway to success. And this is, this is the first thing that everybody needs to do, get in shape. I agree. Everybody should be in shape. Too many people are obese and uh, we should get in shape. But there are other ways to propel yourself to success. And obviously, everybody wants success in several, in several areas of life, right? We want to be in shape. We want to make a bunch of money. We want to have, you know, a lady that loves us and we... Uh, a, healthy household uh, for our family and our kids growing up. We want to have a group of friends that are tight knit and we want to have like that gang kind of uh, a family of friends, you know, that uh, you guys help each other out and uh, always hang out and you guys are whatever, you're like tight, you know, uh, you do everything together. Everybody wants those boys, you know. Um, so I mean, there's other areas to win in life and really putting all your focus on fitness is not the best first move. If you want to do a first move, what you should be doing is you should be getting educated and you should work on your finances. Finances unlock pretty much everything else in life. If you have finances, you're able to eat better, which means you're able to work on your fitness. You're able to get a trainer so that you actually know how to work out and have higher leverage in the gym. You're able to go to networking events where you meet friends that you actually want to build like a, a gang-like community with where you're all helping each other build your businesses and uh, meet beautiful women that will take care of your children and birth you amazing children that uh, you can train and uh, send out into the world. <laughs> like, there's there's so much more that you can do than working out. That's, that's pretty much what I wanted to say with this video. Uh, I've dedicated a lot of time to working out. Now I just like, I just uh, uphold what I've already built, you know? I don't really try to progress very much in, in my exercise life I mean I, I kind of do on accident just because if you're doing the the maintenance phase of working out where you're kind of going like two times a week and hitting all your muscles like once a week and uh, you're still eating all the calories and you're not uh, missing your meals you have a little bit of fat on your body to to protect your muscle from degrading you're hitting your protein goals every day like you're gonna be fine like that stuff is easy to do with like one hour a day and like you'll be all right, you won't lose your muscle, you'll stay in shape, and you can focus on making money. You can focus on networking and meeting important individuals that'll help propel your career. You can go move to a different city and go do things and like be a little more uh, on your toes instead of locked in one place where you gotta uh, make sure you're hitting all your meals every single couple hours and you gotta uh, be at the gym every single day at 6 a.m. <laughs> like, it kind of sets you up in like a little bit of a prison where you're not able to focus entirely on your business like ever since i said you know what i'm gonna go all in on youtube my whole mindset has shifted so that now i'm not thinking as much about my workouts i'm not thinking as much about 
uh, anything really. All I think about is how am I going to make my YouTube more successful? So when I'm not recording, when I'm not putting like my five hours into recording, editing and posting, then I'm literally just studying how to make YouTube videos. <laughs> like that's all I do all day. I study the creators that I'm interested in like replicating and uh, copying like different formats and stuff from and they're uh, maybe that they have the same tar target audience or I want to speak in a certain way or I want to convey a uh, uh, similar message or whatever. I'm studying, studying, studying and then I'm implementing and I'm focused on one thing right now. Everybody's like, oh, you need to focus on your fitness. You need to focus on getting a woman in your life. You need to focus on your, your money as well. And it's like, you only have so many hours in the day, man. Like, you, you literally can't do all those things. You just don't have the time. But if you focus on making the money, then you open up more time because you get more freedom if you, if you do the right things. You know, if you're, if you're working on your way up the corporate ladder and you increasingly put more and more hours in and like, sure, you get more money, but you're, you're kind of trading away your life for it in all your time. What I'm doing is YouTube where the further I get in, the more my time will free up. So it's like, honestly, yeah, it's way better. But, well, it's better for me. Everybody's got different opinions. Everybody's got a different uh, goals and trajectories in life. And I respect it. I respect it. I respect that uh, some people might not want to be a YouTuber and they might not care about uh, escaping jobs and wanting to work for themselves or having uh, location freedom and time freedom and being able to travel the world and explore and learn everything that they can about life and uh, things like that. Not everybody's like me and I understand that but if you're watching this video and you're on self-improvement and you're like trying to better your life and make all this money and uh, get in shape and whatever trying to be more productive with your life and pursue noble goals, meet really, really good people, make good connections and friends, then uh, you're probably a lot like me. Um, and if you're like me, you should subscribe, man. I'm trying to build up this channel of people like you that are like me, interested in the same topics, that are interested in masculinity and self-improvement and things like that, and trying to build up their lives in some specific way. So um, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate your time, and I hope that I made something of it. I hope that you had some new insights, new perspectives. Um, what are your opinions on getting in shape and balancing that with your work life or relationship life or the other things that you're pursuing in life? Drop a comment below and give me some thoughts because uh, I'm trying to learn myself as well. So <laughs> I appreciate some feedback and some perspectives. All right. Thanks again. Peace. <laughs>